It just feels as though I laid it all out on the line a month or so ago with my New Year's resolution. <laughs> what? January was like forever ago. Now the calendar goes and lays another heavy on me. Lent. It even sounds kind of heavy, kind of hits your ears with a thud. Lent. Why do I feel so solemn? Now, Lent can be a solemn time of the year where we as Christians take time to reflect and draw closer to God through maybe giving up some sort of luxury or some kind of vice. What? It's nothing. But for 40 days, yikes! What could I possibly give up for 40 days? I need to ask your advice. What do you think? I hope you say exercise. I love potato chips. Yeah, I could definitely give up uh, bad eating habits. That's another big one. I could give up my car if I had to. There's other means of transportation, right? What have you given up before? Chocolate. And how did that go? Not very good. I gave up coffee one time. It was certainly a sacrifice. Do you think you could survive, say, 40 days without a cell phone? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. No. My cell phone is very important to me. <laughs> Maybe for? a couple hours. What, you, what is he substituting the cell phone for? What are you substituting it for? Yeah. Well, that is a very deep question. Yeah. That's the main question. That's the main question. Now we're at the crux of it all, because yeah. we're talking about Lent. Yeah. What do you think about that? What do you think about Lent? Lent? Well, yeah, explain it to me. It's a way of possibly drawing closer with God. Oh, yeah? Ah. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Why not? Give up my cell phone for that, you know? Be at peace, you know? Bless your heart. Uh, I suppose I could give up complaining. Red meat, yeah, red meat. What about exercise? Could you give up exercise? Give up exercise? Uh, well, I know. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, I'd have to stay at home on my on the couch all day. I don't know if that would be, and then I'd have to eat unhealthily.